morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today, we're still in the middle of, all right, Operation Stanley Keychain. We're going to get into that. Um, let's see where I'm at with that. Um, another thing I want to talk about right now, uh, what, what the next thing I got going on, I have uh, some filaments I'm trying out. I have a marble filament I'm trying out. We'll see what that is later in the video, what that looks like um, with some B-roll. Um, I'll show you all these things. Uh, that's where we're at with that. So we're just messing around with some marble. All right, what's up, everyone? I'm back here. I have the uh, silver um, David bust ready. Let's have a look at that. Um, there will be gold. I'm sorry. Um, there also will be gold. And there will be marble, which you'll see the B-roll right now but yeah this is the silver and this is the white so just to let you know this is where i'm at with my david bus forget about it forget about the stanley tumblers forget about your 3d company just go on just go on go back to work craig and just give it up not gonna happen not going to happen. The tumblers are going to bring in revenue. I don't know. For some reason, I get up here and I make these videos and I just forget how to spell. Isn't that, isn't that funny? Um, but anyways, what I wanted to talk to do, to do uh, to you today about was the future, the future of 3D printing. So what is the future of 3D printing to me, you know? Well, I just, I think you guys need to, it's going to advance. There, there's a reason why it's G-code because it's just like the CNC machines. I can feel it in my mind. I can feel it in the future. This is also modern art. This is art that is um, created by the technology of our modern time. That's what this is. This is powerful, man. It's beautiful. Eventually, they're going to have a holder like this, and you put your workpiece on there, and it's all this nice workpiece. And then this is going to be on a, on a, a rotating table. And this is going to rotate this this way and this way. And then your hot end will be right here with your stuff coming out of it. And so when it's an overhang, it's going to turn this way till it makes it so the nozzle's straight onto that. So there's going to be a little bit of fifth access um, going on in here. But for right now, what I see in the future is when, when you have a sharp surface, there's no uh, um, um, line marks like that at all. But when you get to the shallow surface like this, you're going to get these huge chunks like this they're coming out and there's huge facets coming off like that so what they're going to come out with next i'm predicting if i was china and i was or whoever i shouldn't say that if i was manufacturing i love to be part of it i want to put everything all my artistic talent into it and i want to paint and i want to do finishes and i want it to be beautiful and i want people to be happy when they see my work and i want it to be enjoyable and I don't care if I have a big home and a nice home. I don't know. I just don't care. I want to just. So once you get to a certain height, uh, you need a shallow surface program. So your nozzle is going to now. See, right now we're doing G-code in this axis. And then this axis. And then one coming straight at you. We're not going down, actually down. So what we need to do is take this nozzle. And then we're going to just do a finish pass is what you call it. It's just going to ride right along that 3D path, and it'll finish that wall right out to get rid of those shallow surfaces. So that's what we're going to look for next, man. I think that's what they need next, uh, and then that'll make it really nice. But in the future future, we're talking the fifth access. Absolutely. And this is going to take programming, finishing. You know, They'll have the software all figured out for us by the time they get to that. But I just want to discuss where I see 3D printing in the future. Thanks. All right, so here are the first. Here is the first item uh, going on my shop this year. The first new item is just going to be these seven tumblers, nine ninety nine, and you can put your name on the top, and it's going to be these seven colors, just like you see here. And um, 
Hopefully this is a go. Hopefully I'll get a couple sales. A couple sales now will mean I'm going to really get hit on Q4. Um, so yeah, these will get put on my Etsy list. CK Chrome on Etsy. Take it easy, guys. Have a great night. Do it for the fun and do it for the feeling I get when I see others happy, man. You know what I mean? And the Stanley Tumblr, that's the next thing. That's what we're doing next, man. We're doing the Stanley Tumblr thing without the Stanley name. Um, and we're going to see if anybody will bite. That's what I'm doing. Let's do it. I'm doing it. We're doing it. We're all doing it. We're doing it together.